a grad student at uh, Lusitania on vacation a couple years back. High level resume. And we've landed. Oh. All right, I've reached the seabed. Can't see much. We're still a couple of hundred meters out and back to manual control. Shall we run an equipment test? Okay, yes, please. Sure, let's do this by the book. First, let's run through the controls on the panel in front of you. The center left joystick allows you to move forward, back. Great, now let's check the altitude controls. The lever to your right will allow you to ascend and descend. Looks good. Now, in the middle of the console, there's a map of the site showing your current location in blue. The yellow flashing point is your current goal position. I'll update the map and your goal locations as we go through contracted jobs. If you need to reorient your spotlight, it's the lever on your left. Gotcha. And if you look up, there's a set of VR goggles with a screen. This is the control panel for the Predator. Ah, the ROV. Yep, courtesy of flight avionics and the latest in augmented reality technology. Should let us explore some hard to reach areas. Is that it for the checklist? That's it for now. Cool. Okay, oh. we'd better place a marker before we head too far. Interact with the button next to the map to place one. Okay. The marker's been placed. You can head towards the bow. So, I had a call from our main sponsor. Problem? No, all fine. Just voicing her excitement about us finally diving. Said she's looking forward to seeing what we can do. I've set up a call for 8 p.m. this evening. For $45,000 a day? Let's just hope we find something. Never mind the money. My doctorate is riding on this. Okay, so here we are. Everybody stop talking. Here we are in Titanic VR. This is beta, so you know what that means. So let's check check it out. See if we can find it first. <laughs> We're in this beautiful little submersible. Whoa. There's something you don't see every day. She's a beauty. Wow. Okay, first things first. We've got a contract with the Titanic Society to place their commemorative plaque on the forecastle deck. Get yourself into position. All right. Wow. Okay, let's get the get, get the money shot.
minus nine or up. <laughs> okay, up. We'll go up. Okay, we're on the right map. Oh my goodness. Going. Oh, in here. Wow. WJH. I think this is it. Well, that's lucky. Are you going to open it? No, not here. Assuming there's anything intact in there, it'll start degrading as soon as I open the case. I'll have to bring it back to the lab before we can take a peek. Well, don't take too long. I want to see what's inside. Oh, look at this. Just a little quick look. That's my briefcase. <laughs> Gonna go out of range again. Yeah, I thought so. Oh well, we'll have to go back anyway. Let's get you to the surface. Activate the autopilot and get comfortable. Alright, I'll see you in about two hours. Cool. Wow. <laughs> we're investigating the Titanic and we've found a briefcase. I thought we were gonna be sailing on it. <laughs> okay. Very good. I'm enjoying it in a strange kind of way. Hmm. I'd say this is beta, so it's not all open yet and it is available on Steam. Uh, I shall put links. Open the briefcase. Whoa, looks to be in good condition. Let's get this cleaned up. Hello. How do I. How do I move? Oh, teleport. Silver doesn't look great after being in the ocean. This tobacco tin is covered in silver sulfide. I'll have to gently wash this using a soft brush, making sure I don't scratch the surface underneath. Could you mind not... not doing that? Wait. <laughs> wash the tobacco tin. Come on, great. Oops. <laughs> oh, we don't need this lead. Put that back in there, lead. Okay. What are you typing? I can only move to certain places, okay? A bone hair comb. I'll need to wash the salt out quickly before it crystallizes and the bone starts to crumble. Okay. Would desalinate it. Oh, hold on. I don't desal. It says up there, Lee. Ready for drying in the acetone bath. Acetone. Okay. Who would have thought a comb would have been interesting? What does this do? A freeze dry station. What are you thinking about? <laughs> She's thinking about something. These banknotes are delicate oh. and we'll need a good rinsing in the desalination bath. Then we can treat them in the fungicide to keep them clean before freeze drying them. Okay. Seems like a lot of work, Lee. Got some, some money. Treat with fungicide. Freeze drive the money. <laughs> I have to do all this stuff. Okay. How, how do I? How do I? Oh. <coughs> a 
Okay. Conserve it. Um. But <laughs> not This journal is pretty special. The pages seem to be a fabric paper blend. I think the desalination bath will leach out the salt. Then it can go into the PEG station before freeze drying. Just leave it in it. Okay. Some kind of pentagram on it. And freeze dry it. Getting good at this ar archiving thing. Okay. Hello, I've got a journal. Look. Can I open it? No. Um. What now, Lee? Is that it? This leather case is looking pretty sturdy, but it will need a good soaking in the desal tub to remove the salt. Then I can give it a gentle scrub with the nylon brush. Oh, open the journal. I didn't do that bit. Wash the suitcase. Now it's clean. It needs to be soaked in PEG and fungicide to soften the leather and stop it from cracking. Good gravy. All right, it's ready for freeze drying. Free strides of the suitcase. <laughs> I don't move. I didn't know I was going to be doing so much work. Typey, typey, typey. Titanic typing over there. Okay. How do we open this? Ooh. Shit. Special package. That's interesting. Here's our sponsor. We can tell her the news. Hi, team. How are you both? Hi, Jillian. We're doing great. We've just finished cleaning the artifacts we found today. We managed to access Henderson's cabin and retrieve his briefcase. Wonderful. Inside we found his journal, a few personal items still in good condition. One interesting item is a receipt for a telegraph sent on the night of the sinking. Oh, that is interesting. I didn't know William sent a message. That's what we thought. It's possible it wasn't sent, and that it's still in either the purser's office or the Marconi room. We're thinking our next dive should be to explore these rooms. I know teams have searched the Marconi room before, but I didn't think the purser's office was accessible. Yeah, up till now it's been off limits due to the size of ROVs, but ours is small enough to access it. We're hoping we might find the purser's record book, with the message listed. As for the Marconi room, other dives have shown most of the furniture has deteriorated, but the telegraph canisters might have survived. Hmm, sounds plausible. Let me know if you find anything. I'd love to see the message he sent. I have only the letters from Southampton. I noticed something odd in his journal. On the 14th he mentions carrying some special package. But I'm sure he didn't have anything reported in the manifest. Do you have any idea what it could be? Well, in his last letter, he wrote about returning home with a present for my great-grandmother. I'll do a bit of research on my end. I can check over the manifest again to see if we missed anything. Great, we'll let you know if we find anything tomorrow. I'm sending over photos of the items we found today. Thanks, I really appreciate the regular updates. It's making writing much easier. We'll talk again soon. Well, shall we call it a day? Not quite. Jillian was kind enough to order in a stronger transmitter for our ROV. We'll need to fit it before the dive tomorrow. Otherwise, we won't be able to reach the purser's office. <sighs> I'll get on it now, then. It's waiting for you over there. 
Thanks. Very busy, aren't we? Wow, who'd have thought the Titanic here would would be so much work? Not me. Thank you. Put that in the thing. For the thing. <laughs> ROV upgrades. Okay, open. I need a new ink cartridge. Completed. Fit. Okay. And this. This is very cool. Upgrade Marova. all ready to go for tomorrow. Cool. I'll see you in the morning then. Beautiful. There we go. That's a wee bit of Titanic VR for you. We'll not do the, the purging office, considering. We'll have a look, we look at the menu in case there's other things to look at. Oh. Radio check, Wilson. Coming in nice and clear, Dr. Lynch. Great. First up is the purser's office on C-Deck, correct? Correct. To access it, you'll need to head down through the hole where the forward grand staircase was. I'll mark it on your map. The C-Deck is pretty compressed from what I've heard. Yeah, the impact with the sea floor bent most of the supporting pillars, so they're struggling with the weight of the floors above. With the rate of decay increasing, it won't be long before it all collapses. I'm glad we've had a chance to come down here and see it for ourselves, before all this becomes inaccessible. Wow. So don't this change this back to ratchet, make sure that's smooth for your turning for your predator drone? And she was sinking fast then, and all of a sudden she lifted up quickly, and you could hear everything cracking through her. Everything that was movable was going through her. And then she went down and seemed to come up again. So I thought, well, now I'm going to leave. And uh, I was hanging on to a board. We had two boards, starb and port, which said, keep clear of propeller blades. And I was hanging on to one of these, and I was getting higher and higher in the air. And I thought, well, now I'll go. And I dropped in. I had a light put on. And I hit the water with a terrific crack. Luckily, I didn't hit anything when I dropped in. There were bodies all over the place. And then I looked up at the Titanic. The propellers were right out of water. The rudder was right out. And I could see the bottom. And then gradually she glided away. And that was that. That was the last of the Titanic. I didn't want to die. I mean, I didn't see much chance of living. But I was gradually getting frozen up. And uh, by the grace of God, I came across a lifeboat. And they pulled me in. It's a lucky fella. Lucky and unlucky at the same time. Oh. Uh, so I'll just have a little look. I'll not do this mission. The sheer scale of this. I like looking out the way. Portholes. Wow. Oh. So we're gonna go in there. Oh, careful. It's quite sad, really. Sorry, so it's down in this hole. There's a jellyfish. We'll You'll need to be careful of debris when descending with the Predator. It might make it easier if you position yourself so the lights shine down the void. Good idea. Okay, reach C deck. Okay. <laughs> I've finished. Deploying Predator. Starting to descend. I don't want to see this jellyfish. Wow. I love the way they put the creatures in there. There's no sharks. 
Shard Jeff, of course. <laughs> Surely I'll go out of range if I go down here. Three fish. <laughs> and there's a chandelier. Broken windows. Jellyfish and the and the other wee fish are coming with me like Here we are. Great. The purse's office and inquiry desk are on the port side. Okay. You'll need to go over the desk to get into the side room. I can't help myself. Sorry, I'm just look, looking at jellyfish. Okay. Was it this one? Straight ahead. Sea deck. Wow. Right, I'm here. The office is to the left as you enter. Be careful. This area hasn't been explored before. We don't know what we'll find in here. To think the last person in this room would have been Chief Purser McElroy. The record book would have been kept in a leather pouch. I think I'm in the wrong, I think I'm in the wrong room, Mama. behind me. <laughs> the toilet and the bath still going. Sprinkler system. Oh! Oh, we crabs. Nip, nip. <laughs> wow. I don't see it here. Maybe try the safe back out in the inquiry office. Hello, ding ding, service. <laughs> oh, the doors are rusted shut. We can't check inside. Hmm. Is the pouch among the debris? No, I can't see the leather pouch anywhere. It might be out of luck. That's a shame. We'll have to hope the Marconi room gives us some answers. While we're here, we should collect a sample of the rust on the safe doors. MCPA regularly check for new species of bacteria living in rusticles, and I'm sure they'll want a sample of this. There's a container in your storage compartment you can use to collect some. There is, is there? Take a sample of the particles. I'll take a photograph of the scene too. They'll need to see the rusticle formations as well. Done. We'd better move on to the Marconi room. I'll mark it on your map. You'll need to head back to the sub to get there. Okay. I have finished. I keep on saying it. I'm not doing it anymore, but I keep being just amazed. How 
How far down can you go? Has the whole ship been, d been done? Good gravy. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's gonna return me to the ship. I've gone too far. Okay, back to the ship. The Marconi room isn't too far from here, just between the first funnel and your current position. How do I get in? Either through the skylight or the corridors. Up to you which you feel is safer. Right, I don't want to damage the wreck, or the ROV. The Marconi room. <laughs> is it down in this hole again? Okay, so I, I want to actually go to the Marconi room. I think it's like gorgeous. Anyway, we will return to the main menu. And thank you all for watching this this little playthrough. We're still recording, cool. So here we are like there's a cup of tea and some ocean. Can I get this? Come on, I can't get that. <laughs> There's a wee submersible. Beautiful. So, Stern's not, that's coming soon, coming soon. So I say, this is, uh, what's explorer mode? Let's have a little look before I leave. This is very probably exactly what it says on the tin. You probably just explore at your leisure. Which, what I was really doing there anyway. Yes. I don't really. Look, right in here, to tell you the truth. University of Nova Scotia. Okay. So. Can we look at the Titanic one last time? Let's see if we can't find the Titanic one last time before we go. Keep the light on. Still keep expecting to see a shark or an octopus or a, some kind of whale. Or a giant sunken boat, it's always that late. Forward. Oh. Hold on. I think I've got rotation on. Yeah. Um, it just resets itself every time. Smooth. Try and get a sense of scale. Oh. 
fantastic. We'll call it a day. We'll go on to the old bar here and we'll call it, call it a day. We'll stand in this little grill. <sighs> Hold on tight. Little rover. Okay, that'll, that'll have to do. My wee hands are going nuts. Beautiful. It's fantastic. Can't get enough of that, that money shot, the Titanic money shot. Well, yes, thank you very much, everybody, for joining joining one in the hunt for the red Titanic. And uh, I will catch you next time. Maybe, hopefully. We'll go into the Marconi room. Would be a good idea. The Marconi room is cool. Well, um, that's me done. Stop rabbiting on. Um, thank you very much for watching. That was Titanic VR. It is beta, so, uh, you know, not quite finished. So, check it out if you can. I will put links in all below, and I will catch you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.